YouTube channel. Today I am going to talk about how to use some of the Excel functions. I am going to use Google Docs and the spreadsheet application. So I hope you are all familiar with how to access the Google Docs. I am using the online version. So if you go to Google Sheets, you will have documents for the documentation and sheets. So I am going to pick the sheets one. The slides are equivalent to the PowerPoint in Microsoft Office. They have already created a file. If not, you can open a blank file by clicking the plus icon. So there are some interesting functions that will come handy when you are working with the spreadsheets. For example, I want to split the names. Usually you will get some data with the combined information, right? probably a full name and you may be wondering how to split them into first name and last name. So for that, we have a split function. And if you see the description says that you need to fill in the text and then the delimiter. So I have given the text. Now my delimiter, delimiter is whatever the special character that that is identifying the part that needs to be split. So here in this case we have space between the names. So I am leaving the space as my second parameter. As soon as I enter, you could see the first name is split here, then second name is automatically splitted across. So if I click the arrow by hovering at the bottom of this cell, there you could see the plus icon appearing. It automatically fills the rest of the columns. It's very useful, isn't it? Now I am going to show you how to concatenate the names. So for example, if you have first name and last name separately given and now you want to build the combined full name. I'm going to concatenate the names for which we have function called concatenate. I'm going to select the first name cell, which is B2, which is B and the O is 2. Come on. C2. This is one way of concatenation. And if I want to do it simply, I can just go and select the first cell. And then I can use the ampersand. I can use comma as a delimiter, first name, comma, last name. And then again ampersand. So the ampersand works as a concatenation operator. Now I am going to click the last name. If I enter, it will automatically show me the first name and last name. And if I want to have a space between them, I can leave it. So this gives the concatenated name. If you want to have a similar approach where we had the full name, you can leave this comma and then just leave a space, it will automatically get you the 
name. So now you have learned how to use the split function to split a string into multiple columns and how to combine them using the concatenate function. Do this. So here I am going to type jam. So I need not go on type all these ones, just need to drag it until follow along. You can see it will automatically fill the remaining ones. So that's how I created the ones already. I'm just going to clear this off, selecting and then the delete button. So this example shows me what are all the months and by month what are my expenses. Okay. So we are going to learn how to use the transport function. Transpose. So you need to go to the base special test transposed. If you hit this, the column voice data gets transformed into row voice data. And I have the similar expense data. I'm going to select the base special test transpose. How it is useful? Say for example, I am doing this spreadsheet calculation for 2019. So if I want to repeat this for the next year, so after December again I need to create one more year and I need to repeat the Months, all the 12 months and then I need to fill in the data so at some point in time it will be growing and you have to scroll and read this now with this approach we are going to make it simple that's it so as many months and years you want you can create them. So if I want to have one more year, 2021, I can create and so on. So this helps me to keep my data simple and readable. So we go to edit and choose is transposed and this will automatically transpose your data column to levels. I hope this will here we are going to learn how to do the simple computation. So I have a similar employee name which I copied from the sheet one and have put down some gross salary for the employees and I have calculated some 20% of the tax. So how it works? So I have selected the column gross salary B2 and I multiply by 20 by 100 which means 20% of the gross salary and as usual I am going to click the plus icon at the bottom of the cell so it gets calculated and for the deductions so now I am going to calculate the mid salary so if you see the formula 
I need to subtract the tax as well as deductions from the gross salary. So my formula is B2 minus I'm summing up and then deducting from the gross salary. So tax plus deductions C2 plus B2 which I'm going to subtract from the gross salary B2 which also to $350. And I'm going to copy the formula the rest of the sales. So this is how a simple calculation you can perform and prepare your I'm going to select the range this is giving me the total salary for all the employees And finally, I'm going to tell you some interesting feature about the date function. The date is not the important function because every country has different notation and usage of date. Say for example, in India and British, we use DD, MM and year format. Whereas in US, other countries it changes like month comes first and then the day followed by year so you need to know which type of data you are going to transform or split into separate values like days months is 12 and month is normal so I have one function similarly year function and alternatively if you want to combine the date using the day month and year this function is useful equal date of this goes like year month and day so I am using D2 and then C2 And to calculate the date of birth, so often we need this kind of data. So, for example, I have a date, 8th of June 2004. A person born on this date, what is his current age in days? So, now the function is date diff. So, I have date diff function. So, I have to use the date and I need to calculate up to now right I am picking up date diff function and a5 is my source date and I am using the second parameter now so now function returns the current date so now this will calculate the date difference between these two dates and now what type of value I need to return in course and I am giving D which means days in days it will be like 5643 days as elapsed from the date of birth and if I want to get this same in year format I just need to use the last parameter as Y so which is the unit how we want to represent and you can see there are various units available MD, YM, YD so you can click this link to learn more about how to use this function I hope these simple tips are much useful and helps you in working more productively hope you like this video if you have any questions or suggestions please feel free to share in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe like, comment and share our super learning channel. Thanks guys. See you in another video.